Good morning, Miss Buena Face class. Good morning, you third graders. Gosh, you guys are getting taller, you're getting bigger. Um, you're gonna be adding, subtracting, learning your multiplication tables. You're gonna be writing paragraphs. Um, there's so many exciting things going on in third grade. But another thing is sometimes the frustration level can be even greater in third grade because the work is getting a little bit harder. Um, the requirements, the responsibilities are getting a little bigger. Um, so recess time, I don't even know if you guys are allowed on the tan bark, maybe you are. So there's just a lot of changes going on in third grade. And now you're gonna find out that when you get frustrated, if you want to have a temper tantrum or you want to throw your pencil, you're gonna find out in third grade that it just doesn't fly. Um, so when you get that frustration and you feel it tightening up inside of you and you just feel like, okay, I do not want to do this worksheet. One more packet of work to do and you want to chuck it across the table. Well, let me encourage you. Third grade's not the time to do that anymore. So when you recognize that frustration, you're going to have to be able to take a deep breath and kind of just talk to yourself and tell yourself, you know what, I can do this. Do one problem at a time. When you see the big packet, a lot of times you get overwhelmed with it. But you have to self-talk yourself through it. And then with the deep breath, or sometimes you can clench your fist. And when you clench your fist, and then you relax your fist, that can be a really effective way to help the frustration kind of come down. So I'll, I'll let you know, third grade is like, oh, these kiddos are getting bigger. And you know what? You're going to keep growing. You're going to keep getting stronger. You're going to keep getting taller. So those, those immature ways of dealing with your frustrations or your emotions isn't going to work in third grade. You're going to get in more trouble. Um, you'll have some more timeouts. So what I want to do, encourage you, is to talk to yourself. Think about how you're talking to yourself. Are you telling yourself you're stupid? Are you telling yourself you can't do it? Are you doing that? If you do that kind of stuff, yeah. It makes it really hard to be a friend to yourself. So pay attention to how you are talking to yourself. Are you saying yes? Are you your own coach? Are you coaching yourself on and saying, yes, I can do this. I can get through this day. I can get through this where he says that person that was mean to me, oh, maybe they're having a hard day and maybe you decide to be kind to them. Third grade is when you get to start making more decisions like that and you're not as impulsive. You can have the self-control and say, okay, and then recognize what things do you need to share with the teacher and tell them to help you solve it and what problems do you not need to help solve it. So third grade is a really exciting time because you're getting older and you are getting more responsibilities. Maybe even at home, they're all of a sudden the parents are thinking, hmm, he can feed the cat, he can feed the dog, he can pick up his laundry off the ground, he can put it in the washing machine, maybe they'll still start the washing machine. So there's so many cool things that happen in third grade because you're getting taller and bigger. And you know what else? Some of you have younger brothers and sisters and maybe your parents are saying, hey, little Susie threw all the blocks everywhere. Do you think you can pick them up for her? Because a lot of times the little person can't pick them up or it's more of a deal to have them pick it up versus asking the older brother or sister, hey, can you pick that up for them? So even that starts happening more when you're in third grade. So pretty exciting stuff for you third graders. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I wanted to show you, look at this sky. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm right outside of Oakhurst here, headed up the hill. And the sun has risen over there. All right, so have a wonderful And be kind to each other, all right? We're gonna have a much better year and we're gonna choose to be kind. We're gonna choose to recognize our feelings. We're gonna choose more on what we're thinking 
And guess what? You're in charge of you. <laughs> Pretty exciting though. You're in charge of your emotions. You're in charge of your thoughts. And you can tell them how to think. And sometimes you can even tell them how to feel. Um, or sometimes you have to just kind of feel what you're feeling and then move on to a better place where you can um, be kinder, be ready to learn, take some breathing tips, take some relaxation in your neck. There's different ways to deal with that. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.